Greetings, everybody! I'm Basics286, and welcome back to more Etrian Odyssey. I decided I'd just meet you down here because... What's the point of introducing everything and then just cutting to down here anyways? Anyways, 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 anyways. Anyways, 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 anyways. Yeah, so, we got some levels, so time to customize our folks and do some stuff. Uh, let's see, we want... we're still going for Smite. And, let's see, shield and fortify, where, uh, we still need both. Let's go for shield, though, because that will give us more of an immediate increase in protection, so that's cool. Because uh, shields grant immediate defense, whereas fortify, you actually have to use the squill to, the squill? The skill to uh, actually do anything with it, so that's that. Uh, nothing for you, apparently. Poor Nikki and Chris, all. Oh. Uh, for you, immunize. Where well, are you immunize this? Yes, yes. Immunize is too amazing. Okay, so that's that. Let's try this stupid FOE again and see if we can actually get around this guy. And to the bottom map. Make our way down. And try not to mismap things this time. Alright. This way. Um, we can go up. I actually know the layout of this area somewhat, though, and I know if we go up, it's just going to lead to a very large room with uh, nothing that we can actually do in it. it. It'll have, like, a bunch of treasures as well as a bunch of monsters. Ah, crap, he noticed me. Okay. I think I know how to get around this guy, though. I think I have a strategy. And it evolves first. Es there we go. Escaping from that battle. Don't. Oh, wait. He lost interest. Oh, and now he's going... Okay. Okay, this is good to know. Alright, I think I have a plan to get around this FOE. Uh, we might be able to sneak behind him, actually. God! Um, well, I can't keep running from battles forever. I need experience, so... Uh, actually, let's poison that dude. I think that'll be more of use. We might be able to take the Mandrake down with physical attacks. Aha! Ho 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 ho! That hurt. Um, yeah, we, we might be able to take the Mandrake down with physical attacks if everyone focuses on it. How did the Tree Rat not die? Eh. Oh well. I'm going to defend. Jaiji can finish that off. I guess Nikki's going to have to kill the Mandrake. That and cure me, please. Ow! I brought I bought some medicas before I came down here, just so Lomani wouldn't have to do all of the healing by himself, since that can get rather tedious for him and his TP costs. Oh, Chris leveled up. Well, I guess we'll take care of that while we heal up. Uh, let's heal first, though. Kyaw. Oh, I probably could have salved, but oh well. I have medicas. I'll use that for Nikki. That's what they're there for. Okay, uh, custom Chris. You have songs, so we just want TP up right now. One more and we'll be able to get the awesome, awesome relaxing. Which actually won't be so awesome until later. Um, oh, yes, I think we can... Oh, there's a path here. More good mapping! Uh, do I want to take this? I actually might. It looks like it's going to do something like this. Maybe. That might be a good way to avoid the FOE, though. So I'm gonna do that. <sighs> uh, run away. I really should fight this battle, but I don't want to get caught fighting that battle and have the FOE suddenly appear and me be like, oh noes! And then he's gonna join the battle, and then bad things would happen. Okay, let's do one. Oh! Crap! No, 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 don't notice me, don't notice me, please don't notice me. Oh, jeez, uh, let's escape. This is very bad. I, we're doing good, we're doing good. No, run away, run away, run away, please. Yes. Okay, back up one. No, forget. Ah. And now we're cornered again. God dang it. We had him this time. If I just would have stayed back a little bit. Ah. 
<sighs> if only Immunize was a higher level, I might be able to take this guy on. But at this point, I don't think that's going to be the case. Well, Warp Wire it is. Uh, I'll just meet you guys back here, as per usual. Alright, everybody, and we're back. I figured I'd just start here because, well, the heck. I want to show getting past this freaking FOE. So, um, I'm going to get into a battle before I enter. Oh, yes, preemptive attack. Cool. Okay, so let's do this. This should be pretty easy. Preemptive attacks are awesome. Such lifesavers. Easy experience, essentially. You don't have to worry so much about having to survive an onslaught of enemy attacks. You can kind of just kill off the tough enemies and then deal with all the other ones. And you're good to go. Also, I'm determined to get past this foe. It's going to happen. Also, also, I think Nikki leveled up, so let's take care of that. Yeah, looks like she did. Okay. Real quick here. Customize Nikki. Um, let's see. Think. Yeah, we're almost done with poison, so let's just finish it off. Notice, too, that it hasn't, uh, the TP cost for poison hasn't gone up in a long while. I don't know why this is, but it seems to be a quirk of the first game that, um, the TP costs for abilities don't, like, they kind of stop, um, after a certain point. I don't, I don't know why, but... Oh, crap, 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 I got too greedy. Escape. I was going to try and sneak behind the foe. I thought I might have been able to bum rush through and past, but I got too hasty. And I paid for it, which is dumb. Uh, let's heal. Well, oh well. At least we didn't lose too much progress. Also, uh, now that I'm here, I got a new item for myself. As you can see, this Aspis. Uh, I've been farming at the chop spot on the first floor. And, um, yeah. So, after selling off a bunch of those items, I managed to, uh, get a hold of the Aspis. It was probably from, like, the hardwood and stuff like that, so. Uh, yeah, this is a fine place for a battle. Uh, let's do this. That's, uh, poison you, and everyone else can focus on the Mandrake. Ooh, critical hit. Awesome. Ow. Not awesome. Although, despite the decent defense increase Aspis gives me, I'm still taking a fair amount of damage from these enemies, but I guess that's to be expected at this point. Uh, I think we can finish this guy off with just physical attacks. So let's go. Yeah, looks like it. Those things don't have too much defense, so that's kind of nice. It's just easier to kill them with fire rather than pounding away at them with physical stuff. Um... Yeah, let's let this guy pass, and let's try and do this right this time. Alright, slowly now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's... Okay, I think we're in a prime spot. Ah, oh, freaking... No! Don't blindside me! This is the worst possible thing that could happen right now. Ah, uh, go, 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 go. Run away, run away. No, run. Run. Right. Now. Away. Don't attack Lamani. Oh, God, those things are fast. And this is why we have the power of salve. Because we can heal all of that with one salve. Yes, that is so awesome. That was a horrible spot to be blindsided. But on the upside, it looks like we're past the FOE finally. Oh, and of course, there's like a million ways that we can go. Um... Let's see. I'm guessing this is another safe area. Wait, can I even go right? No, not yet. Bad mapping. Bad. Bad base. Don't map poorly. Okay, so... That. Alright, and this is where we can turn. And it looks like there is one more spot we can reach. I'm not gonna bother going there, though. Okay, now we've got two options here. Looks like one path kind of curves down and around. I'm guessing something like that. Something like that. Um, where are we on the map? 
Oh yeah, we're totally going down. Up is definitely a dead end. Alright. Good. Lots of progress. This is excellent. Oh, I'm just glad to be away from that FOE. God. Those things are so... They're terrifying early in the game. They won't become nearly as bad once we make some progress later on. But at this point... Um, oh, how do I want to do this? Do I want to kill the roller? Or... Hmm, maybe I'll try and kill the roller first. With said poison. Because I know I can kill the venom fly next turn, and it's going to take me... I'm not going to be able to kill the roller with physical attacks, even with using a fire, so... Ow. Uh, but we should have no problem finishing off this venom fly on this turn. If we can just... Survive... Ah, yes. Excellent. Okay. Whew. We're doing good. Uh, let's map this out. And we should be... I hope we're getting close to, uh, oh, there's a path here, some a healing spot down here on this floor, so that'll be tons of help. Uh, I'm not going to go up yet, though. I think I'm going to go for the door. Let's do that. Okay, yes, this is where we want to be. Uh, let me zoom out here for a second. Okay. I think we're going to want to go down. I'm just going to try and make a beeline for, uh, nope. No, door's there. I'm gonna make a try and make a beeline for where I think the healing spot is, and kind of vaguely outline this room. If I get close to a battle, I'll have to heal Nikki up. Uh, okay, so we can go this way, and there's a wall in front of us. But there's a door right there. Nope, wrong button. Matters not. Uh, Lomani, you can heal once. Let's heal Jaichi. Uh, I probably should heal up Nikki, but I'm going to not. Why am I pushing wrong buttons? This is stupid. Okay, there we go. Whew. Let's go down. Map this out. How are we on time? Okay, we're good. I think we can make it to the healing point. Uh-oh. After passing through the door, you reach a clearing. Without warning, an ear-piercing scream sounds out, followed by the growl of a fierce beast. Mere yards away, a giant wolf is preparing to spring onto an unlucky soldier. The wounded soldier seems to be petrified with horror. You take a step forward. The desire to draw your weapon and rescue the soldier wells up within you. Rescue the soldier? Well, yeah. As you gird yourself for battle, the faint ringing of a bell reaches your ears. Searching for its source, you find the hexer Tlachka standing quietly there. Her lips scarcely parting, the girl with the ringing bell murmurs a mysterious chant. All at once, the wolf that had stood ready to pounce stops moving, its muscles tensed. At a final word from the girl, the blood spews from the wolf's jaws, and it collapses. They don't hear or see well, the flame-haired girl whispers, but they can smell blood. Fixing her pale-eyed gaze upon you, the girl approaches. You should be careful. It's dangerous to fight wolves with open wounds like his. Hand outstretched, Tlachka sprinkles some droplets of shining water on you. Your HP and TP were recovered! Hooray! I'll tend to the soldier. You should go on. The stairs to the fourth floor are not far. As she speaks, Slotchka points you to the back of the room. I'll stay here until you defeat Fenrir. Come back if your wounds become too severe. Slotchka turns away, her attention focused on treating the collapsed soldier's wounds. The way is clear to continue forth. Oh, at last, at last! So yes, this is a nice little healing spot here on the third floor, and this is going to remain here, as she said, until you defeat Fenrir, which is the boss of the stratum, and he can be, he's on the fifth floor of the, because that's the last floor of the stratum, which, all that will make more sense later. Just know that Talachka is going to be here in this room until you beat the boss, and all you have to do is walk in the room to the middle spot, and she'll show up, and uh, you'll, she'll talk to you, and you'll get healed. So, the flame-haired Hexer is standing in the same place as before, her stance unchanged. She gives you a faint nod as she turns to face you. How fair you, I hope you're not pushing yourself too hard, she says demurely. As she does, she sprinkles a few more of her shining droplets on you. Water from a spring deep in the forest, she explains. It heals your stamina. The Hexer speaks true. You find your stamina regained as the cool water soaks into your skin. 
The fourth floor is home to many wolves. Take care. The girl shyly turns her head away after delivering her warning to you. Your strength regained. You feel ready to continue your adventure into the forest. So there you go. And you'll get that message, I'm pretty sure, every time you kind of show up to her. More or less that message, so. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we have the time to keep pressing on here, so I'm going to call it here. And I'll probably meet you guys back at this spot in the next episode, in the next video, so. Anyways, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you then.